Yo, Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to Lioness Love Readings. This is a love reading for Capricorn and Capricorn Cross Watchers. Uh, Ostara Blessings. We are now um, in the Ostara celebration time. Um, that's why I added um, some of my artwork here, just to try to um, kind of celebrate a little bit. So... Um, your deck, this is a timeless reading, uh, but we are, um, celebrating Ostara currently. So, your deck is ready to go, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So, I immediately, uh, jumped right into channeling, and I feel like I kind of get into that when I pre-shuffle and prepare, and, um, somebody here is really nervous. Um, I kept hearing a lot about there's going to be like a major shift, a major change somewhere here. Um, thank you guys for hitting the like button while wow, both those cards flipped over but stayed in the deck. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, thank you guys for hitting the like button, for um, subscribing to the channel, joining our tribe, dropping me a comment. And if you're interested, I got um, personal readings with a question, $22 right now on linusloveratings at gmail.com. Somebody is like really deep in thought about something here. Somebody, uh, they don't want to show all their cards. That's why these cards keep flipping over and staying inside the deck. They don't want... They don't want to show all their cards. This... Something is being hidden here. Three of Pentacles. So, not your overall energy for the reading. Let's find out why. Okay, you don't have any reversals. So, your first two cards that came out are the Fool and Seven of Swords. So, and then the next card was the Queen of Wands. So, somebody's hiding something. This is a really odd energy. King of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. This is so weird because the cards are positive, but the feeling I'm getting is not. It's not a good feeling. Death. Two of Swords. Six of Wands. Um, I don't know. This is really strange energy. Um, you know how you get the feeling like when the you hear the tornado siren well I don't know not everybody gets the same feeling I get excited because I love storms but I would imagine like the average person when they hear a tornado siren they get that feeling like um where it's like their stomach. Let's see. I would imagine that the same feeling I could try to. I love storms. So I get really, really, really excited about tornadoes. So I got to change that because I can't really say how I think the normal person feels. So I'm going to use um, the example of when I was in high school and. I had to go up on stage to accept an award for um, journalism. 
that is probably how closer to how people might feel when they hear the tornado warning or the tornado siren. It's, it's like that. That's the sort of feeling I'm getting. Only it really does have this sort of like tornado vibe. Like something bad is imminent. Um, but like I get excited about storms. But when I knew that I had to go up on stage, uh, I like got real panicked and like that real... Um, like your stomach kind of churns feeling, um, and so there's that feeling like when you know a storm maybe is going to come and blow your house to smithereens, it's, it's like that. So I don't know if there's somebody here that just has like major anxiety Maybe, because I feel like this is probably you. You're one of these people here, okay? Watching, you're one of these people. I feel like uh, I'm going to give the reading as if you were this Queen of Wands. you got to put yourself where you go. You might be the King of Pentacles, but that's how I'm going to deliver it. Uh, you, so you might make this person feel this way. You... Um, you might make, um, this dude feel like this, um, like, like he's gonna, like, die of nervousness, uh, and it's just this real, almost like a morbid feeling. And the feeling is so strong, it's kind of blocking the message. Like, it's difficult for me to really see what's going on. So I feel like this is somebody who is experiencing this nervousness to the point where they can't think. Like, they have to pull off the side of the road and let themselves calm down. Maybe this person has some guilt because of past fuckery seven of swords is deceit it's lying it could also just be um, denial hiding something from yourself but I it feels like there's somebody who wants this new beginning with you like they want a fresh start with you because you are like their dream girl But there was this ending here between the two of you. Uh, and this is what they want. They want success with you. But man, I don't know. I might have to like speed this reading up. I can barely, barely do this reading because it's starting to make my heart race. Like I can really feel this. It's really, really strong. And I'm, I'm starting to get like shaky. Like this person is losing their fucking shit. Yeah, they don't want anybody else to get you. They want to be the one to be with you. They maybe want to marry you. They have made their decision that they're going to come forward and talk to you. And you might feel this coming. Um, but this is like almost... I feel like this is double Piscean energy. I'm not really sure why because I really don't think that's what the High Priestess represents. Maybe. I don't remember. Uh... It's hidden. But you might feel it. And you might get these feelings I'm explaining. And that might be like how you're going to know that this person is on their way. Because they're coming forward. Holy shit. They're coming forward to give you this love offer. To tell you how they feel. And it's a lot of feel. And they want to give. And this might be somebody who fucked you over. But they're just like, you're my person, okay? Like, we need to work on this. I'm madly in love with you. I can't go on without you anymore. I... 
I might have to tap out on this, y'all. I don't know if I've ever tapped out on a reading before. This person is having like back-to-back -back panic attacks, anxiety attacks. They have a, a plan. They have a plan and they're concealing it. I don't think that the Seven of Wands is, or the, I keep saying Wands, I think. I don't think the Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands is like defensiveness. I don't think the Seven of Swords is indicating that this person is doing anything malicious. All the rest of these cards are super fucking positive. But there is this feeling in my chest like this person is about to have a motherfucking heart attack because they... They're terrified. Like, they are petrified to talk to you, to do this. There's so much yellow. All these cards have yellow in the background, like this yellow and yellow represents happiness in the true. This person, like, they barely even have thoughts anymore. <laughs> They're just on this fucking, like, just riding these waves of nausea and nervousness and... But the last thoughts are the thoughts that they do have when thoughts do creep in I'm hearing are thoughts like this has to work. This has this has to work. This has to work. This has to work. This person is like so fucking determined. But they are also absolutely petrified. All right, Spirit, anything else? Because I can't stand this energy much longer. No, Spirit says no. <sighs> Good luck, y'all.